Hey folks, this is Kalani. While all of the mount hunters are trying to figure out how we get our hands on the Lucid Nightmare mount, we hunters got a little bit of a puzzle ourselves. You may have come across some new beasts on Argus, one of them being the Panthara. If you've tried to tame them, you know that taming breaks instantly, and you get a message basically saying that the creatures are a bit too tricksy and shimmery for us to tame. So how the heck do we force this new pretty beastie to do our bidding? We've got to distract it, and what better way to distract something than with food. To tame a panthara, you're going to need some talbuk meat. You can find crag scalers, which are the Argus versions of talbuk, around Kroken, but the best place I found to farm up a storm was along this pathway. There's a few crag scalers here and there, but there's also a group of three which patrol all along the path, and they seem to have a decent respawn timer. Frustratingly, the meat that you need, fresh talbuk meat, has a shockingly low, and I mean shockingly low drop rate. Depending on how lucky or unlucky you get, you might be farming for over an hour before you see a piece of meat. The tame itself is also kind of frustrating and maybe a little bugged, so you might find yourself having to get more than just one piece of fresh Talbot meat. The fastest way I found to farm the Talbots was to camp halfway along that road and just server hop until I saw the three patrolling Talbots. Kill them, loot them, server hop, rinse and repeat. Most of the time I hopped straight into the patrol and crag scalers, so it ended up being incredibly efficient, but it still took me over 20 minutes of non-stop farming like this before I saw a piece of meat. If you're doing this without server hop, you're probably going to be past that hour mark. I really wish the drop rate was a little higher. Figuring out the little puzzle and finding the solution to be able to tame the beastie is really fun and cool. Having to grind and farm one very low density mob for a very low drop rate item is kind of lame. When you get your hands on a piece of meat, you need to find your panthera of choice. There's quite a few hanging around the petrified forest, and there's actually a few colour variations, so make sure you pick the one you like best. I would recommend going survival for the tame, because you don't need to be beast mastery, and survival gives you access to camouflage. Now, before you attempt any of the taming, make sure you have a slot available to actually tame something. Go drop something off in the stable if you have five pets. Going through all of this to only find out that you can't actually tame it because you have too many pets would really be unfortunate. So, you need to not be in combat with the Panthara, but close enough to throw the meat, which has a pretty short range, and then hit Tame Beast while the Panthara has the bloodied effect, while still staying out of combat. It's pretty stressful, and I actually messed this up twice, which meant going back to farming that pesky fresh Talbuk meat. We should have just imported some from Nagrand, the Crokan Talbuks obviously aren't that fresh. The best way to minimise the risk of failing a tame is to trap your chosen Panthara, make sure nothing else is around to aggro onto you, then walk close enough to throw the meat and feign death. While you're still feigning on the floor, Throw the meat on the Panthara and hit Tame Beast as soon as that little bloodied effect shows. If you go survival, you can use camo before trapping the Panthara for an extra level of safety, but it's not really required. Camo did make getting to a singled out Panthara without aggroing anything else very easy though. So that's it. If you've been wondering how to get your hands on these cool little critters, all it takes is a whole bunch of Talbot farming and a little bit of luck. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or hop on over to Discord, we have a server at discord.gg slash Kalani, great place to come ask questions or just hang out. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.